Tom Brady haunts the Falcons again. Like after trading 17-0 at halftime, he just completely took over the second half and had in the end 390 yards passing and two touchdowns and with the 31 to 27 win. Like it's it's crazy how he could just turn it on in the second half. Yeah, the the Falcons are, are really making um, a, a habit of doing this, and it's it's really not um, like a nice habit to, to get into. But this was the the uh, Falcons' fourth loss this season, where they've had a ninety five percent plus win probability to to win this game. Um, they did the same against the Bears, the Cowboys, and the Lions, and yeah, they've somehow managed to blow um, another lead. And again, and again, obviously, it it was to Brady. The same thing that happened in in the the, the Super Bowl. Um, but yeah, I think some credit does have to go to the, the Buccaneers. They completely just flipped the script in in the second half. The first half, there was nothing at all that was working. Um, you know, could, couldn't get anything going. Defense couldn't really put couldn't couldn't get any stops. Um, and then. It was almost like the the switch flipped at, at halftime, and I think the Buccaneers have have proven this season when when they've fallen behind pretty consistently that um, it's almost like at, at halftime Bruce Arians just flicks the switch and and flicks it over to to Tom Brady and just says, "Look, Tom, this is your team now. You go out and and and, and win this game for us." Um, and it's they they've been so much better in the second half than, than the first half, um, and yeah. They came out on on Sunday just playing freely, spreading the ball around. Brady was 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 being Brady, um, and I think that's what that's the Buccaneers' best chance to win games. Just let Tom Brady be Tom Brady, and and you'll have some success. Yeah, I mean, it almost seems like I mean, normally, obviously, coaches they script the start of the game like they have the first maybe twenty plays, twenty five plays scripted up, so they know exactly what to call more or less. And it seems like almost like the Bucks and Brady do worse with all these scripted plays. I guess, like you said, when when you give him kind of more freedom to to choose his plays or to choose what, what he's going to do, he's, he seems to play much better in this offense than with the scripted plays. So that's definitely something to look at in the coming weeks. Because, like, realistically, I mean, yeah, the Bucks only have to beat the Lions this week and then they're going to clinch a playoff spot. The Bucks still hold the longest active postseason drought. At, at it's 13 seasons ago. It was their last postseason appearance. So they definitely they're gonna be going to the postseason, but it's kind of a res- recipe for disaster to go into playoff games and trail early by that many points. I mean it's the fourth time they trailed 17 or more points in the first half. And they've actually tied with the Jets for the most in the NFL. So, and it's even was the seventh time trailing by double digits in the first half. So if you go to the playoffs and then you're going to play a team like the Green Bay Packers or the Saints with Hall of Fame quarterbacks, you're not going to be able to come back from a big deficit early on. Yeah, I would, I would t- totally agree with you about the uh, game plans on, on working and the, the, I, I can kind of get it from um, Leftwich and, and Bruce Arians. They, they want to put this um, game plan together that, uh, you know, almost shows that they're, they're worthy of coaching all of this, this talent that, that, that the Buccaneers have. Um, you know, everyone knows they have three uh, number one receivers. Um, they've got Gronkowski. They've got, uh, you know, some, some fantastic running backs. Um, and I think what they're, what's kind of happening is that they're, they're almost overthinking it. Um, it's it, it's so simple you know you you have Brady you have all of these fantastic weapons just let him do what you know he can do and and your chance of success uh, you know greatly greatly increases um but yeah I, I this is um not a team that you want to fall behind um I know obviously they do have all of these great uh, great great weapons and they're capable of, of um, erasing these deficits but like you said in 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 the playoffs um it's you know games are tighter there's normally fewer points um and they are likely going to have to go to uh new orleans and uh green bay perhaps if 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 they want to make you know a, a deep playoff run um and yeah those are not teams that you want to just give points to and, and and fall behind um fall, fall behind big two um but yeah i think it's something that, that the Buccaneers do do need to address because we've we've had you know what's it 15 weeks now of of 
Arians putting in these game plans and, and seeing how they work and, and they're they're not quite working. They're they're capable of beating the bad teams and, and mounting these comebacks, but we've seen against teams like like the Chiefs, um, where they let them get out get out in front, they aren't quite capable of of making that up. And in the postseason specifically, like in the past 20 seasons, teams of three and twenty-nine, like three wins and twenty-nine losses when trailing by 17 or more points at halftime. And like one of the three wins, obviously, is Tom Brady in the Super Bowl against the Falcons. But yeah, that's just a recipe that that's not going to work in the postseason. And I mean, also, when you look at the defense, like they seem to be like kind of a hit or miss defense. Like, or I don't know if they're just not ready to the begin, like at the beginning of games, but somehow they seem to be able to turn it on in the second half, almost in every game I've watched so far. Like... I don't know why it doesn't happen for them in the first half, but as soon as like they come out for the second half, they just completely changed and actually are able to shut down the opponents. Yeah, th- so that's normally a sign of of, of good coaching and um, being able to make those halftime uh, changes and and adjustments and then coming out and, and putting it um, into practice and then and 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 then performing better um the Buccaneers defense I think they have the sixth ranked defense so it it, it definitely is a, a a good defensive unit and the whole um team and and, and situation the way it's constructed the, the quarterback it it reminds me a lot of Peyton Manning's um situation when when he left uh, the Colts to, to join the Broncos and he had some uh, fantastic weapons to throw to he had a, an, an outstanding defense almost certainly better than the one Brady's got um, right now. But the the difference was when Peyton Manning went to Denver, they pretty much just turned the team over to him and said, look, Peyton, this is your team. Uh, you know, you pretty much run the, the whole offense. Um, and we saw what, what success they had. But then with Brady, it's almost like um, Arians and, 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 and Leftwich are so determined to run this offense, these game plans, that they're kind of taking some of that away from Brady. And yeah, I think... Their, their best chance to, to win playoff games and, and potentially make a Super Bowl run would be to pretty much turn it over to Brady and just say, look, you've, you've won six Super Bowls, you've been to nine, uh, you've won countless playoff games. This is the best chance to win. So turn it over to him and, and let him do what, what, what you know he can do and, and what we've seen him do over the past 20 years. Yeah, they just have to kind of get over themselves a bit and just maybe, I mean, obviously they're all... They have a lot of pride, especially Bruce Arians, but just, yeah, like you said, just give it over to Tom Brady. And I mean, we all know what he can do in the playoffs. And I wouldn't be one to bet against the Bucs if they make the playoffs, win the first round, and Brady somehow gets hot and into like peak Tom Brady's like playoff form. Like they're going to be a very dangerous team and could make it all the way to the Super Bowl. Like I'm not going to say say just yet i kind of want to see how they're going to finish off the remainder of the season if they fix the issues that they have but yeah that's going to be i guess the sleeper team definitely yeah for sure and if they can secure the five seed um obviously with the rams losing to to the jets that now looks um you know much more possible, especially with the Rams having to play the Seahawks um, next week. If the Buccaneers can secure that that fifth seed, um, their first round match is going to be against the winner of of the NFC East. Um, I know, obviously, we've seen some big uh, changes and, and and improvements across that division over the past month, but that's pretty much a dream first round playoff game. Playing whoever wins that that division and then you know secure a a playoff win, get that one done, um, and then move forward with with some confidence. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely a, a pretty nice position for for the Buccaneers to be in if if that is the case and and that's how it plays out for them. 